looking for a perfect cocktail for Easter. Something that's not too sweet and filled with chocolate. I'll show you how to make this carrot juice margarita, the bunny's favorite cocktail. Hi friends of cocktails, I'm Kevin Kuz and today we make a grown-up treat for Easter. A Tommy's margarita with carrot juice instead of lime. What's in a Tommy's margarita, you ask? Here's the recipe. It's a simplified version of a classic margarita, using agave syrup instead of orange liqueur. Mix that with some quality tequila and lime juice to get a great and easy to make cocktail. Now it's time to make my version. Let's start, it's cocktail time. Since we're making a bunny's favorite cocktail, let's see who came up with an idea of a bunny bringing eggs during Easter. The origin of the Easter bunny, who leaves eggs for the good children, is traced back to German Protestants, who brought the tradition to the US in the 18th century. Meanwhile, decorated eggs have been gifted around Easter time and symbolized rebirth for centuries. And now a bunny hides chocolate eggs for kids to find. Simple, right? What about a treat for you and me? We'll make the carrot version of the margarita I first created in 2019 for an Easter three-course cocktail menu. This was the main dish using tequila. Today I'm using Rusta Rojo Reposado, agave syrup like we said in the beginning, and today's special ingredient, sour carrot juice, and a drop of saline solution. Before you ask, there's no such thing as a sour carrot. I googled, but we'll add malic and citric acids to make it as sour as lime. Time to bring out the juicer. I'll start by peeling four carrots. This will make sure our carrot juice has a nice, bright orange color. You can use the scraps for making vegetable stock. It's also important to learn from previous mistakes, so I'm making sure I catch all the juice this time. To get all the b-roll shots we needed, I may have juiced more than 4 carrots, so we'll have extra juice and the leftovers. Carrot juice is of course extremely nutritious, but I'll also show you how to use up the leftover carrot pulp. To make the carrot juice into a suitable alternative for lime juice, we'll make a mixture of 94% carrot juice, 4% citric acid and 2% malic acid. I want it to fit in my small bottle, so I'll mix 188 grams of juice with 8 grams of citric and 4 grams of malic acids. This will have the sourness of a lime, with a bright orange color and a sweet and earthy undertone of carrots. Perfect for an Easter margarita. Bottle and use within 3 days. For now, place it in the fridge, since you have one more thing to prepare. Before we start making the cocktail, let's take care of the glass. Thank you. Instead of using a plain salt trim, we'll add a little carrot salt using the leftover juiced carrots. Here's how I made it. We'll use up the leftover carrot pulp that still packs a lot of flavor and we'll dehydrate it. I'm using a dehydrator with an oven set to the lowest temperature, would work as well. I set a timer to 4 hours at 60 degrees Celsius, but adjust according to the amount of carrot pulp you have and how well the juicer did its job. This dehydrated pulp is a great snack as well, but I'll add an equal amount of salt and grind both with a mortar and pestle. You could also use a spice grinder to achieve a finer mixture and save some energy. To help the salt stick to the side of the glass, you typically use a lime, but I didn't want to waste one just for this. 
so I sprayed some sour carrot juice on the outside of the glass. And this works just fine too. Chill the glass in the freezer before you start making the cocktail. If you have some other ideas on how to use sour carrot juice and the carrot salt, I'm all ears. Now let's make the bunny's favorite. I'll start by chilling the shaker before adding all of the ingredients. Whichever brand of tequila you're using for your cocktails, make sure to get a 100% agave tequila. You'll know the difference and regret ever doing shots of mixed tequila after you try the real stuff. I'm using a reposado from Rusta Rojo, but a Blanco tequila would work in this cocktail too. Tommy's Margarita was created in San Francisco in 1990 by Julio Bermejo at his parents' restaurant called Tommy's. Bermejo used agave syrup to enhance the agave flavor of the tequila and the cocktail, instead of using triple sec to highlight the citrus flavor in the original margarita recipe. Since I'm serving my cocktail in a Nicanora glass, I use smaller measurements. Feel free to scale up if you serve it in a coupe or on the rocks, or if you just had a bad day and you need a little extra. There's no judging here. If you are serving it up, make sure to double strain so you don't get any small ice chips in there. To complement the beautiful orange color and the conical shape of the glass, we'll add a nice leafy part of the celery. I think it's pretty obvious why. This looks like a carrot and it has a slight vegetal aroma from the celery garnish and the carrot juice. But the flavor, however, is still that of a well-made Tommy's Margarita. The carrot juice doesn't steal the show, but just adds a gentle sweetness, which plays right into the caramel and toffee notes of the Reposado tequila. Taking a sip from the side garnished with a carrot salt intensifies the earthy notes from the carrot, but the salt also enhances the citrus flavors we added into our sour carrot juice. This is easily the bunny's favorite cocktail. Give it a try, I'm sure you'll love it too. This is just one of the twists on classic cocktails I made on this channel. So check them out while you're here. Cheers! Hi friends of cocktails, I'm Kevin Coos. Hi friends of cocktails, I'm Kevin Coos, and today we'll make a ground. <laughs> <laughs> This was the main dish using <laughs> tequila. <laughs>